let us understand EDI stands for electronic data interchange and in this part we are going to understand introduction to EDI similarly we are going to see the differences between traditional document exchange and EDI model of document exchange a business organization consists of different types of business documents like purchase order, invoices, inventory documents, payment documents, shipping details, customs clearance details. In this way, a business organization may be having different types of business documents and the business organization is supposed to exchange all these documents maybe within the same organization or maybe with the external agencies when it comes to within the same organization the business organization is supposed to exchange the documents among several uh, departments like sales department production department finance department marketing department in this way a business organization may exchange the documents within the organization itself similarly a business organization is supposed to exchange the uh, documents business documents with external agencies like distributors logistic service providers or customers to exchange these business uh, documents there are uh, two models available one is uh, a traditional document exchange and another is EDI document exchange in this way two models of document exchange are available let us look at what is EDI it stands for electronic data interchange EDI is nothing but exchange of business documents in standard electronic format between various business partners maybe within the same organization or maybe with the external agencies such exchange of information happens automatically without any human intervention that to paperlessly so that is what is known as an EDA so EDA is an excellent model of exchanging business documents because different types of business documents may be there like purchase order invoices inventory status payment details shipping details customs clearance details in this way a business organization may be having different types of business documents and all such business documents can be exchanged that to in standard electronic format among various business partners maybe within the same organization or maybe uh, with external agencies and another advantage is uh, such exchange of business documents happens automatically without any human intervention so to that extent uh, human errors also get reduced and this entire process happens uh, paperlessly as we understood already uh, for exchanging business documents uh, two models are available one is a traditional document exchange and another is EDI document exchange now let us understand what are all the differences between traditional document exchange and EDI document exchange first of all let us look at traditional document exchange in case of a traditional document exchange whenever customer purchases a product the customer has to print the purchase order so immediately after making a purchase the customer has to print the purchase order then the purchase order is to be sent to the seller using post office or courier service or fax service or sometimes it can be uh, given to the it may be given to the seller by hand also so in traditional document exchange the customer immediately after immediately after uh, making the purchase has to print the purchase order 
such printed purchase order is to be sent to the seller by post or by courier or by fax service or by hand so using one of these models the customer has to send the business document that is purchase order to the seller let us see what happens in case of edi the moment the customer purchases the product the purchase order is uh, uh, sent to the seller automatically so absolutely there is no necessity of printing the purchase order so no human intervention paperlessly the purchase order is sent automatically to the seller so that is the biggest advantage in case of edi so in case of edi document exchange the moment customer makes a purchase the purchase order is prepared automatically no printing is required and it is sent to the seller without any human intervention and absolutely there is no necessity of papers so paperlessly so that is the main difference between a traditional document exchange and edi document exchange and in the same way and in the same way in continuation in continuation of the process customer made a purchase right earlier customer made a purchase for which the purchase order is sent it is, it was printed and it was sent by the customer in case of traditional uh, document exchange now let us see what happens in continuation in continuation the seller has to print the invoice so once again the printing process is involved here the seller prints the invoice and sends it back to the customer using the same service that is either by post or by courier or by fax or by hand so using one of these models the seller has to send the invoice to the uh, buyer whereas in case of edi document exchange the moment the seller prepares the invoice it goes to the buyer automatically instantly without any human intervention and paperlessly also so paperlessly instantly and automatically the invoice reaches the buyer that is the biggest advantage of edi so see the differences between traditional document exchange and edi document exchange whenever a purchase is made the purchase order is to be sent uh, after printing in case of traditional document exchange whereas in edi the moment the purchase is made automatically the information reaches the seller instantly automatically and paperlessly and in continuation whenever an invoice is prepared by the seller once again it is to be printed and it is to be sent in case of a traditional document exchange whereas in case of edi model whenever uh, an invoice is prepared it reaches the buyer instantly automatically that to in electronic format so paperlessly and let us see the very last difference both buyers and sellers are required to have some conversation over phones or maybe required to make some inquiries to know about the status of purchase order or invoice because the purchase order or invoices were sent by post or courier maybe uh, they may be lost or they may be delay in delivery of uh, such business documents so buyers and sellers are required to make some inquiries about the status of them for which they need to make some phone calls or inquiries whereas uh, no such phone calls no inquiries are required in case of uh, edi document exchange so these are all the differences between traditional document exchange and edi document exchange 
So in this session, we understood that there are different types of business documents like purchase order, invoices, inventory documents, payment documents, shipping details, customer customs clearance documents. In this way, a business organization may be having different types of business documents. Such business documents may be exchanged in two ways. One is traditional document exchange and the next one is EDI document exchange. In this session, we understood what is EDI stands for Electronic Data Interchange. EDI is nothing but exchange of business documents in standard electronic format between various business partners. Maybe within the same organization among different departments like purchase department, sales department, production department, finance department. So within the business organization itself or maybe with external agencies the business documents may be exchanged so edi is an excellent model of exchanging business documents in standard electronic format between various business partners and another advantage is such exchange of information happens automatically without any human intervention paperlessly and instantaneously so that is the, the biggest advantage and when we look at the differences between the traditional document exchange and edi document exchange in case of a traditional document exchange whenever customer purchases a product the purchase order is to be sent by post by courier or by hand or by fax to the seller whereas uh, in the same way, in the same way, in return, in continuation, the seller has to prepare the uh, invoice and it is to be printed and it is to be uh, sent back to the buyer uh, using similar services like post office or courier or fax or by hand. Whereas absolutely all these things are not necessary in case of EDI document exchange. The moment customer makes a purchase, the purchase order reaches the seller automatically, instant, instantaneously, paperlessly. And in the same way, in continuation, whenever the seller prepares the invoice, it reaches the buyer electronic format without any human intervention. And in case of a traditional document exchange, some inquiries may be required to know about the status of business documents like purchase order or invoices. Absolutely no such inquiries are required in case of EDI document exchange because the business documents are delivered, um, they get delivered automatically, instantly, instantaneously and paperlessly. So these are all the things that we learned today.